So the first thing that we're going to talk about is new improvements to Web Intelligence. 4.1 has some major additions in the back end, including further integration into with HANA and business warehouses as well. So as you can see on this slide, there's enhanced SAP BW integration. You can do level selections and also variable selections from your BW queries. Also in HANA, query stripping is now enabled through a number of other universes, including HANA and ERP and OLAP sources, whatever you build your universe off of. Also, BEX queries have a new and improved place in the web intelligence community. So right now, there's a number of different things that you can show. The first thing is that you can create queries and reports in web intelligence directly off of BEX queries. There's no reason <clears throat> to build a universe. And when you do so, hierarchies and dimensional metadata come along as well. Uh, you can also navigate through a hierarchy. And also, you can include charts with a hierarchical uh, navigation. So what this means is that where you can drill down through a tr typical relationship universe, you can now use the same kind of drill down capabilities with BEX queries. You can also filter out zero values and merge and unmerge BEX variables in those query documents. Now there's also in 4.1, also you get a whole new query panel when you're using BEX queries. It's called a hierarchical query panel. And so you can navigate all the way through. You can choose one object, it's children, or it's or it's dependent, and you can include all of those inside your BEX queries. You do have to accept adjacent levels. You can't skip levels inside your hierarchies as well. Now when you output it in a report, you can see on your left hand side at the bottom of the, of the, of the slide that you can now nest and unnest items so that you can uh, expand kind of your drilling capabilities for those that have used OLAP analysis. This might look very familiar. Um, and then you can also drill inside the charts as well. Now one other major component in web intelligence is the CMC edition. So now what you can do is that you can easily give uh, certain UI elements, whether that's uh, the left side panel, the certain toolbars, certain taskbars. You can dictate what your users see by adding it to user groups at the CMC level. And you can display this customization of UI there. Now you can't do this at the individual user level, but if you have a certain level of group, like for example, a series of report consumers, they don't necessarily need to see all the toolbars. You can free up some of the real estate on those webby screens by simply limiting their access inside the CMC. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and show you some of these new features in web intelligence, we'll go ahead and create a new chart so we can show this from scratch. Okay, we'll just select year and we'll select sales revenue and we'll select state here as well. We'll run this query. Okay. And we'll simply turn this into a column chart very easily through 4.0. And we'll add our region so that we can see our different colors here. Okay, click apply. Expand this so that we can see it. So for example, if you do not particularly like this color format, you can click on our formatting tab. You can go to palette tiles. And you can go down to custom. And we can select one that we want to act as a template and click new on the bottom. And here we can simply change our colors to something that might match our color scheme at work. And we see we have a new palette. Click OK. And as you can see now, my entire col columns have done that as well. So then when I create a new chart, for example, if I create a chart on state sales revenue, I create a simple pie chart. 
I can come in here, go back to my formatting tab, go to my palette styles, choose my custom palette, and you can see now I can apply a single custom palette all the way around. Now if you don't like to, if you don't like this, you can always go back to your default colors by right clicking on the plot area. I can set this as my default colors, or I can clear my color assignment. And come back up here, change it to a new modal. Now what I can also do here is that another off wanted feature is creating a frozen frozen header. I can create my chart. And we can see here, if I scroll through here, I don't necessarily keep my header. But going into reading mode, I can choose my chart, and I can choose freeze, and I can freeze my header rows. And so now when I scroll down, I have my header rows there. I can also freeze the left column as well. So when I, so I could move over, and this one column would be frozen. Go ahead and show that. And we'll go ahead and add some more dimensions to add some length to this. Uh, we'll add year, products. We'll add lines, categories, SKU description. Then the price and month. We'll run that query. Create a new report here. Come into our object. Drag everything across. Okay. And then we'll come into reading mode, select the table, we'll freeze one column on the left and header rows, so now when we scroll down, and then when we scroll over as well, you can see that everything stays in place so that I can read the right hand of the chart along with the left hand of the chart. 